G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from youtube.com slash Marty's Garden and I've got my little daughter here with me today, Karen and we're talking about how to grow avocado trees at home in your backyard. Now I've had some camera issues um, out in the garden, we were just down there doing some filming weren't we and we couldn't get it. the camera working, something wrong with um, the, excuse me, don't do that please, something wrong with the Sony upgrade or something, so anyway we've got a new camera and um, it shoots even better quality video I'm still getting used to using it. So anyway, let's get straight into this. I want to talk to you about growing avocado trees at home. Now, uh, this is not a typical backyard avocado tree. It's more in a uh, um, farm block sort of thing. You can see lots of bush and stuff around, but it's the same idea. Now, when you're growing avocado trees, it's very important that you keep this uh, trunk nice and straight. Now it needs to be a grafted tree otherwise it won't produce lots of fruit but we're going to get into that in a little bit when we talk about seedlings and stuff in a minute. Um, it, so you need to keep a nice straight trunk. Now the reason being is you want to create as much of a, a V as possible Christmas style shape. So the light hits the top and reflects down the leaf. Now I learnt this from a biodynamic farmer, he's one of the best in Australia and uh, his fruits were just amazing, his farm was amazing, he's a consultant for most of Queensland and uh, I learned a, a fair bit from him in the one day that I spent on his farm. So that was one thing that he, that he produced with me and gave me the idea. Now also as the tree grows out into the V shape, now some avocado trees are spreading, some are more vertical like the reed is more vertical tree and the house um, forte and things more spreading but we still want to go for that top point as much as possible so as the trunk gets higher we need to keep it nice and straight and get the branches going out as much as we can so we're reflecting the light down and the leaves will eventually will shade the fruit now it does take two to three years to get fruit from a grafted tree now you, they may be grafted split grafted or they may be layered which means they put some uh, peat moss on the side of the old tree and then sprouted the roots around, took it off and grew the cutting uh, that way. So sometimes you might not always see where the graft is these days where the swelling used to be. Now um, some things that I can see here from this guy here is he hasn't put any mulch around down the bottom, he's put some rocks here. Probably only just put it in because you can see it's wet and it's been watered. So avocado trees are a uh, surface feeder and they'll feed from the surface and so underneath all this mulch here is where they get all their food from and so you need to have this covered this is really um, yeah you really need to do this and as the canopy grows out you can fertilize out as wide as the canopy goes because that's as far as the roots will go out so another thing is you need to have to get good fruit production at A and B variety but you need to check in your local area to see which avocado trees will grow best and then go for two trees, an avocado, an A or B or two A's and one B, something like that. Anyway, let's go over and have a look at some other photos. I'm going to discuss about the seedlings now. Now you can see here is a beautiful photo. Um, please excuse any background noise. We've got the budgies and Karen playing in the background there, but school holidays at the moment. But anyway, look, here's a beautiful photo and yeah, it shows you how to grow an avocado tree. Now, you can see here that they've put the um, seed into the water and they've done it that way where uh, they've held it up with a few sticks and then eventually it's sprouted down in there and then eventually you put it into a pot and then go into the ground. Now, this could be seven years before you actually see any fruit and there's a possibility that you may never ever see any fruit. Um, the reed tree is the big round big round green avocado it comes out of Mexico and that will produce fruit up into about five years and yeah that's probably one of the most vertical growing trees it's big massive leaves I've got one out of my veranda as soon as I get the you may have seen it in other videos it's getting quite big now I'll, I'll get the camera sorted and, and um, show you uh, some more later so I, for myself personally, being a, an agricultural horticulturist, I wouldn't recommend this because it just takes so long to get the fruit. Now, if you're not in a hurry uh, or you just want to do it as a, for a hobby, um, then then fair enough. Like I've got um, a few trees, and one of them is uh, it's a red tree. 
which I plan another three years I should be getting fruits from it. And I quite like the fruit, they're quite tasty. And it will be a great thing to do at the end of the day, going, yeah, we grew this from seed, is that true, you know? Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at some more photos here. You can see here, look, they're all bunched together. They, they look really healthy, they're nice and shiny. Um, avocado has a natural waxy um, substance around the fruit to protect it from the sunlight and from any pests and things. Um, if you ever see uh, the little black holes, puncture marks, they're created by uh, stink bugs and they push down their, um, their needle into the fruits and that's when you chew on the fruit, sometimes you get that hard little bit inside. So one way to get rid of those is by breeding up the beneficials um, in your garden, in, in the, around the avocado tree, such as the assassin bug, which eat the larvae, the, their baby ones eat the larvae of those ones. And they look like a spider web that's hanging down, these little tiny threads hang down with little eggs on the end and they'll be under the leaf. That's the assassin bug uh, larvae. And so um, if you're spraying the trees with poison, you'll kill the good ones as well. Let's have a look at some more photos. Here's the typical Hass growing in the backyard, nice and black, ready to come off. If you're worried about when to pick your, uh, your avocados, probably go for the Hass, because when they start going dark, you know you can grab them, because if you get them too early, um, the oil isn't in the fruit yet, and they don't taste any good. Um, here's a nice big tree now. Uh, you can see it's quite well spread out. Um, for me, uh, that may be a bit too big for a normal backyard tree now, because uh, you'd need to get a ladder up into there and it'd be getting hard to prune. The Christmas style shape's gone, so a lot of the inside wouldn't be getting as much fruit and be as productive. So what you need to do is uh, come in, you can prune avocados quite heavily back to that Christmas style shape. And yeah, get it into that Christmas style shape. Now one other thing I want to cover is the dwarf avocado tree and the just the normal one. Uh, the dwarf one's great for small backyards. They don't get a big root ball though, that's the reason why they stay small, um, so they may not produce as much fruit. So if you're after a lot of fruit, um, you need to do more pruning just by the normal tree and get out there and prune it and keep it to about six to eight foot high, where you're comfortable, where you can grab the fruits all the time. All right, look, there's a lot into growing avocados and I do like um, creating videos on these, so I can't put it all into, look, it would be a whole series uh, for getting that going. And who knows, I may even develop a product on that in the future. What I would like to know though is, um, for you guys, I'm considering uh, making some type of club or some type of online membership area where people can get access to me. Um, they can uh, get in together and share, there'll be forums and stuff like that, newsletter, the whole thing. I can't run it for free though, there would be some costs involved, some charges and stuff, which wouldn't be that much. And yeah, you have your own agricultural horticulturist at your disposal, uh, which would yeah eventually save you a lot of money anyway, because you wouldn't be chasing up all these products, and you would get yeah just you know that nice help that you need. Also, let me know um, any other videos that you want to produce, um, any questions that you may have, I'll try and answer them below in the box. And that's it. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video, how to grow avocado trees at home. And we'll see you at the next one shortly. All right, click the link down below and go and check out uh, some of my books that I've got on sale. At the moment, there's three books for the price of one. Great value. Okay, happy gardening. Bye for now.